The Legendary Apple Soft Computer. Episode 7, The Computer. In the last episode, the Macintosh Voices found the hidden cave after a walk in the forest. However, since the Microsoft Voices are tracking the droid Zarvox, they could easily follow the Macintosh Voices. Now, Mac Alex, Bruce and Fred start their journey through the cold and dark cave. Oh, it's so dark. Are you scared? Of course not, but it's hard to see anything. Zarvox, could you please turn on your lamps? Will do. Oh, this is much better. Um, did anyone close the stone door behind us? I don't think so, and I don't even know how to do that. Why do you wonder? It would be easy for the Microsoft voices to follow us if they detect the hole in the cliff. And why would they detect it? It's impossible for them to know in which direction we walked in the forest, and they can't see the hole from their helicopter. Zarvox was the only one who knew where this cave was located before we saw it. You're probably right. I am always right. In another part of the cave, the Microsoft voices are becoming confused by all the tunnels. Trinoids, where is Zarvox? The tracking system is not working at this place. Maybe the connection is bad, or maybe it is a security system that makes it more difficult for people to find things in this cave, especially the Apple soft computer. Hey, I see something. Oh, let me guess, a bologna sandwich. Actually not, but that would be awesome. No, I see a light in that tunnel. Um, yeah, you are right. I can also see it. Me too. Should we go in there? It is a risk, but we don't have anything else to go for. Okay then, let's follow that light. The Macintosh voices continue to walk through the cave, until... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's big, dark, it's a monster. No, it's the dragon. The legend says that dragon cars the computer. Uh, are you sure? Look, it doesn't move, not at all. Let me look a little bit closer. Ha 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 It is just a bag. You two got so scared just because of a bag. Don't even think about telling someone what just happened. The great Lord Alex doesn't get scared of anything. Do you understand? Okay, okay. Take it easy. But, what's in that bag then? Is it a pizza? Oh my god. We have taken us all the way here for one damn reason, and you are thinking about pizza. Seriously. Yes, I'm serious. I would walk this way more than two times if that means I'll get pizza. Okay, maybe I have to explain this to you like this. Slowly and easily. In this bag. The legendary Apple soft computer is placed. The machine that could give endless power to a true leader of the world. Do you understand, Freddy? Okay, Alex. I get it. I don't want to wait anymore. If this bag is the only thing between me and the computer, well... Wow. Cool. Incredible. Oh, there it is. My own power machine. You mean, my power machine? Microsoft said. Do you think you could stop me now, huh? You came a little bit too late, I'm afraid. I will turn it on now, and then you could dream about the previous era in which there was an operating system called Windows. <laughs> Let's press the start button and enjoy my power. Type in the Applesoft password to log out to the system. You have three attempts. What? What? No. New. Not another password. Could it be the same that we used for opening the cave? I don't think so. That would be way too easy. Hmm. Ah, wait. Could it be the code into Apple headquarters? It has been the same since the 90s, so I could try. The password is invalid but partly correct. You have two attempts left. Huh? Partly correct? Hands up. Freeze. The computer belongs to us. Scotty has raised a pistol and is now pointing directly at the Macintosh voices. So, time for the goddamn Microsoft Sam to take over the world. Tagalogamata. I know the password. It is the code to Microsoft headquarters. It hasn't been changed since the 90s either.
the password is invalid, but partly correct. You have one tenth left before the system is shutting down for good. Now you're off at it. So what is the pin password then? Um, uh, I think I actually know the password. Have I said that you are allowed to speak? Um, no. So shut up then. Uh, wait, did you say that you know the password? Yes. I know man said that it requires a collaboration, which never would happen, but it isn't totally impossible. Alex and Sam have to type in each part of the password. Both headquarters code together will form the password. Ah, um, um, well, I think you are right. Should we? I think we have to. Time to unlock this thing. Master will be pleased. You two did it exactly like we thought. Come with us now, all six. And Scotty, you could lay down that little toy weapon. We can destroy you with the Applesoft computer in a half second if we want to. Unlike you, we know how to control this machine. Have you ever read a single word in the old manual for this computer? I don't think so, lazy boys. Move on. The Master wants to see you and thank you for giving us the ultimate power. Ha 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 ha. How did Malcolm, Graham and Rod find the Microsoft and Macintosh voices? Who is their master? What will happen if the person called master takes control over the world? Listen to the next episode and you may find out.